Hi, I'm Sanford Herzon, and I teach biology and forensic science here at Wooten High School. And I'm here to talk to you today about signing up for forensic science. Well, first, you should know that forensic science is an advanced level class, so you get honors credit. There are There is one prerequisite, having um, done well in a biology class that you took during your your sophomore uh, year and at least taking chemistry or physics at the same time that's what's called a co-requisite and you also have to be in the 11th grade and have a size nine and a half shoe no no forget that 11th grade or the 12th grade um, and that's for uh, the information about the class um, and the audience and highlights oh good um, what you can expect well 50 percent of the grade is based upon summative assignments which are broken down into two things one projects and written tests 45 percent is based upon lab work because it's a lab based course and then 5% is homework or classwork. Um, some of the projects, okay, each, there's a, um, a, an individual project each grading period. Um, one of the first ones is taking a look at this book called The Casebook of Forensic Detection, which is also um, our course textbook, as well as to and another one called criminalistics and you have to identify what your passion is in forensic science. This book is very good in the, which has a lot of different categories uh, for example like ballistics, cause of death, disputed documents, or DNA typing and much much more. Um, first uh, marking period we spend a lot of time on forensic anthropology in which we identify uh, human skeletal remains in cases of illegal, I'm sorry, legal importance. Um, one thing that students are able to do is that they're able to look at um, a skull and tell whether or not it's real or a fake one. Um, and also being able to build a biological profile. This is a real uh, skull. This was belonged to my dad. Uh, when he went to medical school, um, he had to learn about all the parts of the skull. And on the inside, there's a lot of blood vessels that are impressed in the inside of the cranium as well. Um, so building a biological profile is identifying the gender, the age, uh, the stature, and the ancestry. And for example, you might recognize this bone as your femur. And you also have to identify whether it's from the right side or the left side. This one is from the left side. Um, another thing that we do in forensic science is fingerprinting. You are required to fill out one of these from one of your classmates. And the practical portion is that you are going to have to fingerprint one of your guidance counselors or one of the administrators, perhaps Dr. Dorn, and we also have a crime case for you to solve in which there are some suspects and you have to identify the type of fingerprint pattern and match it up with the evidence. So I really hope that you sign up for the course. If you have any questions, feel free to come and see me and talk to me personally. I'm Mr. Herzon. I can be found all the time in room 216 or in the Science Department office, room 217. Thank you very much. Four minutes and 35 seconds. Oh, it's still taking. <laughs> <laughs>